No, no. We're not making your mother's meatloaf. We're making this meatloaf. Simple, easy, and delicious. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Disney Done Differently. So, where are we today? Hollywood Studios. 50's prime time. Now, I don't know if you guys have been there recently, if they're still doing it, but the whole gimmick there was the shtick that they would do, right? You can get elbows off the table, don't forget to eat your peas. But, the whole concept of the restaurant was back in time, right? 1950s, where everybody sat down at the table together and meals were straightforward. So they have a meatloaf there. I had it. It was dry. It was hard. I didn't like it. So today, I'm going to do it a little differently. Let's go. Okay, and we start with one chopped onion. I'm going to add that to the pan. And remember, you're not looking for color on the onions, you're just looking to get them transparent. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of salt, and as always, some black pepper. Okay, so now that they're translucent, just make a little space, a little bit of avocado oil in the center, some garlic. You want that garlic to cook out first before you move any further. You can give it about 35 to 45 seconds. Let that oil and the garlic do its thing. And then combine. And once everything is combined, you're going to pull it off the heat and let this rest. Alright, so start the show. To a bowl, I'm going to add two pounds of chopped meat. So this is just ground beef, 80-20. Remember as we said, we want that fat content in there, but we need to get flavor. So to add flavor, what I like to do is a pound of ground sausage. Um, it's Italian sausage, you can cut it out of the casing. Um, and basically that's, your, that's gonna be a mixture. If you wanted to, you could do one pound of the, the meat and uh, I would do a half a pound maybe of the sausage, but I'm making a large one, so we're gonna we're gonna add that amount. Put this to the side for a second. To that, we're gonna take our eggs, and to our eggs, we're just gonna three beaten eggs for this amount. Um, I find that two eggs does the job. Three eggs makes it better. So we're just gonna whisk. Whisk these together, and that's it. Everything else will come together right in this bowl. So I'm going to add the three beaten eggs right into there. I'm going to add two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one for good luck. Worcestershire. We're going to add about one, two handfuls, and a little for good luck of panko breadcrumb. You can use Italian breadcrumb, you can use uh, cornbread, uh, anything that you like just for, that's going to become your binder. Next steps are very optional, but I like a little smoked paprika in mine. I like a little bit of red pepper flakes for a little bit of heat, not much. Of course, some salt, some pepper, and then this will be a little different, but we're going to add, I'm going to show you, one, two, three tablespoons of tomato sauce. Now this could be red pepper sauce, it could be pizza sauce, it could be uh, tomato sauce right out of the can. Um, you're just going to add, add that in. You can add Italian seasoning if you'd like. I like a little oregano. And then about three quarters of a cup of Pecorino Romano. 
And now you have to get that special tool to make sure you mix it properly. Your hands. Make sure they're clean. But we're just going to mix. Move that out of the way. So you got the sausage and the ground beef and your eggs and your cheese and your paprika, little pepper flakes and that tomato sauce in there and we mix. So now everything is mixed and combined. We're going to add those onions and garlic that have cooled off. The reason you don't add them on that hot, you can't mix it with your hands. Okay, so we're going to add those onions and that garlic that we had in there and we're going to give that a mix. Okay, now that it's all mixed, we're bringing our pan. Hands are clean. <clears throat> we're not going to use a loaf pan. I don't want you to use a loaf pan, alright? Everybody knows how to make a loaf. I'm just going to take it right out of the bowl onto here. One shot. Look, no tricks. One shot. Alright, and you can just begin to form it with your hands into a loaf. You just want all the sides to be even, and you're going to look. If you see the cracks, you want to fill in the cracks. Um, I would definitely use a lined. Uh, you could line it with foil. I'm using a silpat. If you don't have a silpat, um, you can line your sheet pan with foil. Okay, give my hand another quick wash, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so that tomato sauce that we had, put it right on top. Again, this could be pizza sauce, this could be a red pepper sauce, that would be good. This could be ketchup, if you wanted, to maybe a little too sweet. But the main thing is this is going to lock in tons of moisture. Alright, so we just want to get this all the way around. Alright, so sauce is on. And now for my favorite part, we're going to top this with cheese. Now, you could top it with any type of cheese that you'd like. You could go more of the Pecorino. But remember there is a higher salt content with Pecorino Romano. Um, because it's a dried cheese, it's an aged cheese. I'm going with mozzarella because I can. This is not going to taste like a pizza. I promise you folks. You can go with the Colby Jack. You can go with the uh, Fiesta Mix. I don't like orange cheese on my, uh, on my meatloaf, but we're all set, okay? We're going to clean this up in the oven, 350, 30, 40 minutes. I go by temperature. So I want the center temperature to be 155 to 160. I like to pull it out, let it rest. It'll raise up to 165 and that's when you can eat it. So here we go. There it is. I mean this doesn't get any better than that. Let's take a look. Look at that. That is just absolute. Look, juices are flowing. Let this rest for a little bit. Let's see. Get right in here. Give this a cut. Cut off a little end piece. Look at that. Look at those juices just running through there. This is going to be delicious. Put this right here. That's not your mother's meatloaf. So, one last thing to do. Let's taste. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be delicious. Let's go. Alright, so, simple folks. We got the ground beef, 80-20, the sausage, Worcestershire, panko, the sautéed onions with the garlic, some paprika, salt and pepper. We hit it with a little bit of tomato sauce. 
look at how moist. Look at that. Just the juices are running right out of there. Let this rest just a little bit. Here we go. Mm. Oh. Bah! The meatloaf! Delicious. Now, do I have a lot? Yes, I have a lot. But, you know what's great with meatloaf? Meatloaf sandwiches. Leftover meatloaf is just as good, if not better, than regular meatloaf. And just because it has a tomato sauce, I want to show you. That tomato sauce gets cooked in. That's just, just liquid. Cooked to a beautiful 155, 160. Got the onions in there. This is delicious, folks. Ooh, it's so hot. What can I tell you? Not dry like 50's prime time. But I'm not in Hollywood Studios today. So I hope you liked what you saw today. If you did, tell your friends, tell your friends. Please like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, everybody.